News at 11. Today was a great day to get down on the farm and pick out that perfect fall pumpkin. Bonnie Brook Country Farm in Centerville held their fun on the farm festival with haunted hay rides, a petting zoo, and a corn maze. There were also farmyard hunts, a climbing barn, and a fishing derby. The owners at Bonnie Brook Farm say they do this all for the families. We do this because it's so much fun. We love kids, and we love families, and we love the farm. So there's three good reasons right there. And by the way, they will be open every weekend through the end of October. And on Friday and Saturday nights, the ghosts and goblins come out to play. Beware. For more information on Bonnie Brook Farms, check out their website. And Young's Jersey Dairy is proud to open their doors for the 29th Fall Farm Festival. Young's is expecting more than 10,000 guests this weekend as they enjoy horse-drawn buggies and pumpkin picking. There's going to be some good food, good fun for the whole family. We've got family stuff going on. We've got demonstrations of making ice cream and butter, and we're making homemade donut holes and caramel apples and selling apple cider. And, of course, we've got pony rides, and we've got horse-drawn wagon rides. We've got picker and pumpkins. I could go on, but there's a whole bunch of stuff going on here. And if you're interested, I know you are. They're going to be auctioning off 26 fiberglass cows that have been decorated for the season. They will be open tomorrow from 11 in the morning until 6 in the evening. Today kicked off a love of everything German with the 34th annual Oktoberfest. More than 100 vendors were on hand at the festival with German food, adult beverage, crafts and goods. Tonight, the Hathaways were performing as well as the Ticket to Ride. The festival is open tomorrow from noon until 7. Tickets are $3 for kids, $5 for adults. History lovers will be gathered all weekend to pay homage to planes flown in World War I. The Dawn Patrol Rendezvous World War I fly-in continued today, even after a replica plane crashed yesterday during landing. Participating pilots do their best to build World War I replica planes from scratch. Then they either fly or haul their planes to events like these, even if the commute takes a little extra time. So did you fly it over from Columbus? Yeah, I flew it over from south of Columbus. It's about 60 miles. It takes me about an hour and 15 minutes. <laughs> it's pretty slow. Yeah, I look down and kids are riding bicycles along the road are passing me up. <laughs> that can happen. Most pilots dress the part, and it may be hard to believe, but we're told most use nothing but World War I era communication equipment while in the air. We enjoyed a gorgeous afternoon here in the Miami Valley. Hardly any clouds to be found as we take a look at the past 12 hours on the satellite radar composite. We do have a few clouds coming in now from the south, but those, for the most part, cloud-free skies this afternoon allowed us to warm up into the mid-70s this afternoon, so unseasonably warm, feeling a little more like summer than fall. The normal high is 70 degrees and will be even warmer than this 75 for tomorrow. Currently, we've got 62 degrees, clear skies, winds out of the south at about 4 miles per hour. And although we do have clear skies right now, we do have a few clouds that are making their way into the area, so we'll have mostly clear skies overnight. The tropics showing tropical depression 19 moving towards the north, but will not be a factor for any areas of land. We do have tropical depression 20 that is nearing the Yucatan Peninsula, so it looks like it's going to be making landfall later tonight or sometime tomorrow morning along the Yucatan Peninsula, then reemerge back out into the Gulf of Mexico, and it looks Looks like at this time it's going to be impacting the coastline of Mexico by the middle of next week. Back here at home, we don't have any fronts that are going to be moving through the area until we get into the middle part of the work week. However, for tomorrow, we'll have high pressure dominating our weather as it steer in, steers in those warmer temperatures out of the south. So for tonight, mostly clear and mild temperatures dropping down into the mid-50s, mostly sunny and warmer than what we had today for tomorrow, lower 80s for the high. And you can see the nice weather sticks with us for the next several days until Wednesday when we have a front sweep through the area. Temperatures fall back down into the 60s behind the front.